Hey folks, this is a video response to uh, WillerWin21 uh, and his video, Why I Do Not Support My Local Militia. Brother, I agree with you in a lot of aspects here, but again, this is America. We don't have to agree on everything, but let me go on. A bunch of numbers after his name. He's this uh, pedophile looking motherfucker that makes all his videos in this darkened basement. Anybody? No, he's a brother. I will disagree with you there. Everybody has their right to their opinions. And it's David's 113113. And it goes on. Yes, you're right. But he is good people. Listen to some of his other videos. Don't make snap judgments. Their own political agenda, or they're out to further their own beliefs, and that is the pretty much the it's pretty evident from the quotes and the comments and some of the YouTube videos out there. And there's one particular quote I wrote down that kind of stood out to me, and the question I asked was, "What, what exactly would you do if a?" Like if a military vehicle rolled in and tried to make contact with you. And he said, the only people who should be concerned are the traders, occupiers, and enablers of merger, banking, corporations, and contract. Now, that left me with one question. Now, does that mean you think you should be able to kill an Occupy Wall Street person? No, no, they have their own right to say their mind. It is their First Amendment right to free speech. This I agree with you on, totally. Are they not protesting under the Constitution which you claim to support? I mean, do you think that just because someone is a banker that gives them the right, you the right to kill them? I mean, do you, it, to me, it seems like the militia suffers from this complex, which I've heard written about before. And I can't remember the actual name, but it's named after the guy in the movie Gladiator that's the emperor trying to kill Russell Crowe. And it's called his name complex. And I'll annotate it if I remember. But basically what it means is, and you can see a lot of this with the militia men, is that they are a fringe group. And they, they are not representative of the local, of the average general population. So because of that, they kind of see themselves as, as different as obviously different and they kind of want to what they say is destroy the world and rebuild it in their own image they don't actually care about about the constitution they don't care about uh, supporting rights and defending the rights of the others they all they care about are is furthering their own agenda and making sure no one believes differently from them most of them are anarchists, <clears throat> and that I do agree with you on. They are not constitutionalists. And these same pe these same people tell me they they tell me you need to read the Constitution. You don't know shit. You don't know shit about the Constitution and all this stuff. Which I do. I carry it with me every day. Patriot's Handbook, which has the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, Patrick Henry's speech, plus a few other things. I carry it with me all the time. I'm actually getting a dual major in American history, so I do actually know about the Constitution. So you don't need to bother to tell me to read the comments on the Constitution. And even if you told me to read the Constitution, like any other document, it is very open to multiple interpretation. Now that's going to cause a lot of people... That's where I disagree with you. It is in strict black and white. I'm sorry my friend, but it's in black and white.
disaster. But if you actually look at it objectively, it really is, some of the stuff is up to personal interpretation. And there's also a little constitutional thing that all these militiamen that are bitching about the government doing this, the government doing that, well, the government, there's this little thing in the before we get on much further, let me tell you what my interpretation of the militia was. Back then, it was any capable being, generally it was the age of 13, 14, 15, and up, male, that was able to handle a gun to protect their property, their neighbors and their town. That was a militia. To me, that is my idea of a militia. If shit hit the fan, I'm not going to bug out. I'm going to stand here and protect my property, my neighbor's property. The, the people around me's property, the town's property. I will stand up and defend it. That is my part as being an oath keeper, what I would do. I would defend our rights. Let's continue. Constitution called the Elastic Clause. And basically what that was is when the, they finally sat down, when they were done with the Constitution, they said, okay, did we forget anything? And they basically said, well, of course we forgot something. There's no possible way that we can cover every single conceivable uh, angle or any conceivable function of the government. So they wrote in what is called the Elastic Clause, which basically says, it basically says the government may pass any law that is not expressly forbidden in the Constitution. Uh, no, actually, the way the Constitution is written, we're going to debate semantics right here, is uh, what is not expressed in the Constitution is left to the states. That is where government has gone overboard stomping state sovereignty. Let's continue. And basically many of these things that uh, militia members are up in arms about are not actually unconstitutional because they are not actually expressly forbidden in the Constitution the government is allowed to do it no it was left up to the states it's up to the state Constitution at that point and uh, yeah okay on the bottom you can't really see it here uh, yet they were silent when Bush passed the Patriot Act yep they were I agree with you wholeheartedly. I was four score against this. This is an absolute stomping on personal liberty and freedom. Let's continue. Now, that there is a complete different argument that could be made of should the government do it. Now that I'm totally open for. Yes, you, that is that is a great, great thing to discuss. Some of the stuff I personally don't believe the government should be doing, but it that doesn't mean that it's necessarily against the Constitution. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my feeling on the overall militias is that they don't really care about the American people. They don't really care about the American people. As a matter of fact, most of them. From what I've heard, see the American people as sheep and people that are blind to what's going on and all this stuff. Yep. Which to me is actually a very arrogant... B12. They haven't figured it out in four years. Anyway, great to be in America. We can agree, but this B12. 
They haven't figured it out in four years. Anyway, great to be in America. We can agree, but disagree. I'm not ass hurt over this. I'm just trying to instruct you. The Constitution is in black and white. That's my opinion. In the meantime, folks, leave me your thoughts. I'm always open down in the crotch bar. I'm open for video responses. Bring it on. Let's do this. Peace.